first got me into music was my family. My mum and my aunt, Jean and Lynn, they were singers. And uh, dad played guitar, he was a brilliant guitarist. And my uncle Frank White was a, a guitar player too. And my grandfather was a violinist. And yeah, it was just sort of around. I thought it was kind of normal that everybody played music all the time. There was always a record on or a radio or something or somebody actually making music. And it was only when I went around to other people's houses and they didn't even have like a radio that I thought we were kind of a bit odd. <laughs> but yeah, it was just always around, you know, when I was a kid. I've always quite liked the idea of working with wood. So maybe, I don't know, a carpenter or something or a cabinet maker. But I would have probably been the only carpenter and cabinet maker who got a roadie, you know. The current Blackstar amps that I'm using is I've got a pair of uh, these 30 watt um, artisan series and I've also got a pair of the 15 watt smaller amps and I also use these mini ones called the Blackstar Fly which are really good fun and I'll take those out on um, acoustic concerts and it's quite funny because they're only like that big but once you plug them into a PA they just sound like one of them. <laughs> What made me start using Blackstar Amps was actually, um, I've got Paul Weller and Steve Craddock to thank for that. And I remember doing the sound check and just plugging into the, a Blackstar Artisan 30 and it just did my head in. I just thought, that is the most amazing thing. Because what struck me was it kind of boils down all the quintessential elements of what makes a classic British tune band. And it kind of condenses all that into one package where you've got all those classic tones and, and sounds into just one cabinet. Cher's our guitar player usually says, oh Rich, have you done your vocal warm-up? So I get kettle on and put a, make a cup of tea and have a fag and I'm ready, you know. However you try and avoid it and you really want to rush and be Jimi Hendrix or whoever it is that you want to kind of emulate at first before you find your own style, there really is no getting round the elephant in the room. Sat kind of playing on computer games or doing other stuff that's kind of distracting you, it's not no help you. You've really got to focus on that, turn your mobiles off. For younger people, there's so much out there that's a distraction from this that will take your, your focus and your heart and your soul away from what you want to achieve. There's no way round the initial kind of thing you have to engage with your instrument. My advice with you is to learn to fall in love with the guitar. If you are truly in love with, with your instrument, that it'll stick with you all your life. And there'll be times as well when you'll need it. Like when I go on tour, when I'm in a hotel room, which are kind of fairly faceless and soulless places to be sometimes, is if I've got my guitar leaned in a corner, I may not even, may not even pick it up and play it, but it's kind of like a piece of furniture from home. And that keeps your mind and your soul together but you can always pick it up and play it and it, it will kind of, it'll help you a lot as much as you play it, it plays you as well. When you, you're sat in those moments when you're bored or you're feeling a bit pissed off or you're a bit lonely even, it's a nice bit of company, isn't it, you know? <laughs> Black Star Amps are perfect for my kind of music because they just rock and roll. It boils it down to that. You, there's a lot of things you can do with it as well, tonally. It's not just all about fuzz and distortion. There's a lot of tones you can get out of it that are just not full tilt. I mean, these are very different to a lot of the Blackstar amplifiers. They don't have the built-in saturated distortion that a lot of metal players require. These amps are all about tone. That's 100% what they're about. And you don't have to whack them up to get a great sound out of them as well. There's, there's a lot of colours and shades of the rainbow that are just in these little boxes. Yeah.